Why is that me peeking over the Yukon fence? <laughs> it's a giga. <laughs> Craig, get back here. I'm not Craig. Oh, Craig number two. Oh God. <laughs> it's so weird without Craig. Oh my God, those look fun. They're gonna bump. <laughs> It'll be another steel vengeance. Craig, not like that. What are we about to do? Uh, an SLC. You should probably introduce yourselves. Hi. Yourself. I'm Code Blast. I hang around on Discord all the time. So we're riding an SLC at an American park. Probably not a good idea. I literally just rode an SLC 40 times in a row yesterday. You and know you're using a skip the line for this, maybe? I know. We're literally using but skip like, the line. Look, look at this. This is the queue line for the ride. It ends over there. The station is like way behind the camera at this point. Right. Yeah. So, what do you think of Darien Lake so far? Um, the park looks really nice. Like, I I'm impressed with the appearance. Yeah. The two rides that Sorry. I've been on so far aren't too impressive. Yeah. Um, tantrum. I would consider doing again, but not with the line it has, and I don't want to waste another skip the line on that. Uh, Viper is just god awful. Yeah. It, it started off okay, and I'm like, oh, this is promising, and then as soon as I got on that bat wing, it slammed me right in the keister. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's god awful. It, it hurt enough to be awful. I enjoyed it more than Dragonfire at Canada's Wonderland. Oh, I beg to differ. Really? I, I enjoy both Dragonfire and Corkscrew at Cedar Point better than Oh, that. no. I like, the, I like Viper better. The layout's more interesting, but it hurt but yeah it's it's actually a much prettier park than most six flags parks so the only thing that kind of let me down is when i got to this ride the paint is literally not paint anymore yeah but what look at behemoth at canada's wonderland it's in worse condition than this and that's a star so. attraction look, look, look at that you can literally see the whiteness from the primer that was once on there the supports look like they've been redone though yeah the supports are fresh but yeah one thing that i did notice is well this park's notorious for having one train ops because hmm? they don't have two trains on like any of their rides except for tantrum i know this thing is literally using parts from two trains and you can see it there's like a couple of them have red seat backings and the rest are all blue like your standard typical red and blue slc trains yeah so one train ops is getting really annoying yeah and this, they have this yellow line or something we have to stand behind, like way down the exit ramp. I know, One Train Ops has forced us to use fast lane on an SLC. Yeah. This is the one ride I didn't want to use it on, but. Right? Probably save the no fast lane for the boomerang or the motor coaster. Yeah. Try not to use fast lane on that and use the last three on like a ride of steel. Yeah. So we can get like a front back ride. If they let us have preferred oh, seating, they haven't, they haven't let us have preferred seating either. Yeah, this park doesn't let us have preferred seating. Although the people that went behind us on Tantrum, they asked for the front and they gave them the front, so... We'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. The park's not bad, but it's not... No, yeah. Okay, so it's more beautiful than Great Adventure. I like... And more beautiful than Carowinds. But... The rides, like Tantrum... It's a, it's, a, it's a good family coaster is how I'll word yeah. it. Good family coaster, it's nothing special. It, so It doesn't belong in a park of like this scale. It's a boardwalk park type size coaster. Yeah. It, it would need to be a lot longer for it to yeah, be. Yeah, but it was really smooth, like super comfortable. Oh yeah, I was surprised. Yeah, I was definitely expecting. pretty good too. Yeah, but I have a different opinion on Viper than you. It, I heard a little bit, but I didn't think it was a bad coaster. It could be just the seat I was sitting in because I was behind you guys, but... <laughs> The secret person behind the camera is like, <laughs> he's shook. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna ride this SLC. I know I'm gonna hate it. Huh? We'll be back. See you when we get off. What'd you think? Um, I got spanked by that thing. What? What did you spank by? Uh, the whole seat. I almost fell into the ride. So. The problem with this one, it doesn't shake really from side to side too much. It goes forward and backward, at least on the seat I was on. I don't know. Everyone says that this is better than Flight Deck, but Flight Deck's less painful than Flight this. Flight Deck's better, and I still prefer Edinburgh at my home park. I just rode this 40 times 
at Canada's Wonderland yesterday and it was way better than this model. Yeah, way better. Like, flight deck is more smooth, better taken care of. Yeah. Uh, and it doesn't use parts from two different trains. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> that still boggles my mind. The sad thing is, though, that like this was the most thrilling ride we've been on so far today. Yeah. I prefer Tantrum a you little do? bit. But yeah, but, that was the most thrilling. I have to say, this park is really beautiful in a weird way. As you look at the swamp. In a weird way. I don't know, I like the setting. It's pretty. I mean, the front entrance area is really nice too. I like it. It's got its own little unique charm to it. Oh, can't go that way. Secret cameraman. <laughs> All right, where are we going to now? Um. You want to get food and then go and... Oh yeah, we have to get food, don't we? We forgot about Predator. Predator is the thing. Their wooden coaster. Oh yeah. So. And then my least favorite model of flat ride I've been on, Sky Screamer. I thought Boomerang was your least favorite flat ride. No. <laughs> Sky Screamers. Those things look dangerous. Call me GP all you want, but they look dangerous. Ah, uh, you're not wrong. <laughs> oh, oh, Kobas, you know what credit you're not getting today? What? That oh, one. Wow. You know what, give me the keys, I'll figure it out. Oh? <laughs> I love how there's like a pylon in the I'm water. Sure it's pushed to start. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's a credit we're not gonna get. I don't know, is it a credit? Is is no. it not a credit? No. Lumberjack's better. Oh? You work at Oh. I'm gonna <laughs> cut that out. <laughs> Alright, let's go do your your okay, your one hundredth credit. It's gonna be Ride of Steel. Yeah. So let's go do motorbike. So you wanna do motorbike? Let's get motorbike for 99. And then we'll get Ride of Steel. Or do you wanna do Predator? Because it's on the way there. Is it on the way there? Okay, yeah. then let's go do Predator. I think so. I forgot all about the I'll wooden coaster. I, I did too, and then I saw it on this. I'm like, oh yeah. That's I have a thing. feeling that'll be my second favorite ride at the park. The wood coaster? Yeah. Oh, copyright music. Bye. Yeah, that's not Russian Aries. What are we about to ride? <laughs> Predator. <laughs> I don't Some know. sort of wooden coaster. <laughs> I think that name is like uh, questionable because we were down, we were down there, and some woman was like, "We're we're over by the Predator." And I'm like, oh my god! And I'm like, if you didn't know if a ride was called the Predator, it sounds like really bad. Like, <laughs> where's the Predator? Where? Why? I just want to direct your guys' attention to something. Just a little bit behind that way. Look at the the, the flash pass line for Ride of Steel. That, we're gonna have to wait in that nest. That sounds so spoiled though. Like we have to wait in that line versus the regular line. Like that's still better. I don't know. It, it might be the same amount of time. We got a good deal. Like this is better than Great Adventure's offer. We got, oh yeah. So at Great Adventure, you got two skip the lime houses. So you can only skip two rides. This park gave us six, two per person. Yeah. And you can so use them on any ride and you get up to four people on per ticket. So we're basically able to do all the major coasters except one. Yeah. Without waiting in line. I just want to comment on something. Every angle that I'm filming at in this park has like such great views of like rides. Every time I pull up the camera, it's like such like a good view of like. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I love this park so far. It's not thrilling no. in any means. It, it looks really nice. It's a nice looking park. It's very family oriented. It's like a less thrilling Canada's Wonderland. And it gives me CGA vibes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you were saying it like some of the views, especially near the front gate, kinda look like if you're looking down CW or uh, CW oh my god. <laughs> CGA's midway. Yeah. And you see the double decker carousel with all the nice plants and flowers and whatever. They're they're really doing their attention to detail. Honestly. Yeah. It's a good park. I like it so far, but I would come back. Hopefully they get a 40 free spin. <laughs> I want one close to my home. You'd, you'd come back here. I'd come back here, yeah. Again yeah. At this park. <laughs> I would upgrade it. the L season flash pass to this park, yeah. yeah. All right, we're gonna ride Predator. We'll give a quick review after, and then we're gonna head on over to Ride of Steel. Well, we're gonna eat, go to Ride of Steel for his 100th credit. Congratulations, you finally caught up. Oh. oh? Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> All right, peace. <laughs> what ride did we ride again? The wooden one? What's it called? Predator. Predator. What did you think of it? I don't think it was terrible. Oh, I actually kind of liked the ride. Yeah, you and I have differing opinions on I'll, that. I'll let you go off on it first. 
<laughs> it's not terrible, but it goes from being like a wooden coaster to like a choo-choo train. <laughs> <laughs> it literally yeah. does next to nothing halfway through the ride. There's um, no airtime. There's zero airtime. Except for maybe the drop. Or if you're on the front, but Yeah, no, that wasn't fun. I like Wild Beast and Mindbuster better and I, that says a lot. I enjoyed it because the layout I found really interesting. And it didn't kill me. Yeah. I survived. <laughs> I thought it would I thought it would be my second favorite ride in the park, but it's not. What's your second yeah, favorite yeah, ride? Yes, I'll see. Oh. <laughs> we need to get you on that boomerang. <laughs> the boomerang's not gonna be the SLC. But this is definitely gonna be my number one. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be my favorite ride. Yep. How long have you been in line for? Like, what? <gasps> oh, what did we see earlier? Okay, okay, okay. So, this has to do something with this. They line up their, they call it the Go Fast Pass here instead of the Flash Pass, mm -hmm. I guess, because they don't have the licensing for the DC theming yet. But they line us up through the exit. I think it's similar to how it runs at the Great Escape for anyone who's been there. But they had, at first, there was like a train with just six people on it. I guess they got their own private train. I was concerned at that point, so I'm like, what, are they only front-loading? Is there a problem? They said it was for a band that's yeah. playing at the... Uh... Which is fair, but they don't need to go train anyway. Then they proceeded two trains after that. They loaded a whole train, just anyone going through the Go Fast line. Yeah. So... That's I'd, crazy. So the people it, in the regular queue... You can't really see it from here, but like the station is completely full. Yeah. That queue is about half full at this point. It's probably a good 45 minute wait for No, this ride it's way point. longer. One train ops, full queue, that's gonna be like an hour and a well, half. Given the dispatches I've seen so far, yeah, probably. Yeah, no, that's the one, that's the one thing I hate about this park, is the one train ops. Yeah. But yeah, uh, it's pretty ridiculous. I wouldn't be happy if I was a guest and I saw a whole train get used for a special guest um, and it had empty seats. Literally they only filled like three seats and then the next train after that was all fast lane people. So yeah, I wouldn't be happy. Nah, they, and they've been like really strict on their ratios. You don't get a preferred seat yeah. with fast lane or with the, the go fast pass. I'm okay with that though. Normally I'd be upset, but with how they're doing it, there's yeah, no fair. way, yeah, there's no way they could give us preferred seating. That would just be so unfair. I'm still gonna try. Nah, it's not I'm, gonna work. I'm gonna get denied though. But this will be my 100th credit. Yay, that happy 100. I feel like I just got older. Now you can die in peace. <laughs> this is as you kill me on the ride home. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we'll give a ride review after we get off. It doesn't look too bad. You look funny. It's so weird not you. filming, Craiga. Oh? <laughs> That's she. Oh? Okay, bye. Only good moment on the ride. Hello. Hello. Bonjour. Oh? Okay, so we just got off. Superman Ride of Steel, I think That's it's called. That's not what it's called. What's it called? It's called Ride of Steel. Oh, Ride of Steel. Because right. it's not worthy of Superman anymore. Oh my god, that ride's so boring. <sighs> Behemoth and Leviathan at Canada's Wonderland make this ride look like a little family coaster. It, it pains me to say there's another ride exactly like this at another park. <laughs> what is it, Taxi Jam? No. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that though. I, can I'm, see I don't know what it is. I had high expectations for it's this like, ride. Okay, the drop was promising. I'm like, okay, maybe it, it'll blow my expectations. The first airtime hill barely did a thing. The drop was boring. I had to compared stand up to trying to get airtime. <laughs> and then the airtime hills were non-existent. Yeah. The last two were oh, really good. Oh, yeah. It just I like the last two. Oh, we're, oh, there we go. I can actually see. What yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> What, what did I say at the end? I yeah, get your pin. I we'll be out here. Here, let's go here. Oh boy, the whiteness. So, the last three airtime hills were fun. Yeah, they were fun. Yeah. But the other bits of the ride were like, it was like boring turn number one, straight section. Boring turn number two. It wasn't even a forceful helix either. And then it was like airtime hills and like, yeah, it just not my cup of tea to be honest. The second, like, the second big airtime hill was okay. Yeah. But, no. 
the straight sections and the little bit of bumpiness that it had kind of kills it. Yeah. Not, to be honest, not, is it my number one at the park though? Yeah. Yeah, it's my number one at the park, I guess. I don't, it's number two and three, really difficult to place. The rides here are not that great, but the park's still a good park. But yeah, all around. It, I, I'd give this a once a year visit yeah. if they can like consistently get good additions. At a 40 free spin, please. Yes. All right, I'm sorry. I know I probably triggered a lot of people. Not a good ride, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's not a terrible ride, but it's just not what I expected. Yeah, there's better out there. And it's not its fault, probably. I mean, Behemoth and Leviathan make that look like garbage. Exactly. Oh, well. Still a good ride if this is your home park. I mean, fun, but... If they don't add a new coaster, I probably won't be back next year, to be honest. The lines are ridiculous. The people probably waited like two hours to get on that ride. Yeah, and that's not really... We waited, what, 45 minutes with Fast Pass? Yeah, yeah it was, that was 45 minutes for sure. And there was like, what, six or seven trains ahead of us? Yeah. The, the operations on this ride were probably the worst I've seen. No, okay, well that's not their fault. The operations but... are okay. Like. I don't think the operations were terrible. The guests, the customer service at this park is phenomenal. Oh yeah, like phenomenal. The one train crap on all the rides. Yeah, though, and that's I not know. the employees. Though. It, it kills the wait. I would never wait for anything here. No. I'd rather no. wait for Leviathan one train than this. Yeah. Our friend's still buying a pin because he collects pins, okay, even from boring parks. All right, you can go buy a pin. Yeah. Uh, go we're gonna go ride the motorbike coaster, and then we're gonna do the flat rides, and then and I the guess boomerang. we'll give an overall park I'll rating at the end. Oh, All right, oh peace. Uh, See ya. Kitty coaster number two. It was interesting. <laughs> I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Yeah. You liked your the way your back was forced into that arch. <laughs> I see. You looked like Kim Kardashian posing for an Instagram photo. I was nice on this ride. I didn't try and staple the person next to me, but oh? he did. Who would that be? I don't know. Some some weirdo in a blue shirt. Oh. Maybe turn the camera around and find out who. <laughs> <laughs> what did you honestly think about that? Um. It was kind of cool. It belongs at Coney Island, though, not at an amusement park. It was kind of cool. You thought that was cool? I thought it was fun, but it's not an amusement park ride. It's a fairground ride. I just filmed it. I'm literally gonna have to insert video footage, not slow down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to Sky Screamer. That looks pretty really fun. A ride that'll actually scare me, Sky Screamer. Yeah. I hate that. I hate that. Place a different way. We can't go through that. Are you serious? Yep. We gotta go around. Oh, we have to go up here, don't we? Yeah. Oh, let's just go up the stairs. I thought this was the entrance. I'm like, oh my. That was boring. Again. I'm not having. Okay, the coasters aren't impressing me anymore. I think my favorite ride in the park is gonna be that Enterprise. Oh. I just almost killed a kid. Oh, oh, got some Canada. Okay, these things annoy me so much. What are they? Oh, the cell phone? Why Water like, wallet? I'll explain to you why. Why, did you almost drown him with one? Oh my god. No. Hey, I found more pins. Well, I feel like you gotta explain for the camera. Why do you hate the water wallet? I'm not saying on video. Oh! Now that's the tea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to Sky Screamer. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're going to Sky Screamer, but we have to stop this vlog for a brief advertisement from our corporate sponsor. <clears throat> That's twisted philosophy. Craig, get back here. I'm not Craig. Oh, Craig number two. Oh God. <laughs> okay, so what what just happened? <laughs> So we went into the gift shop next to the motor coaster 
and we somehow exited the park, as you can see from the gate directly in front of Wait. us. Wait, now how do we get back in the park? We can just walk straight in, probably. Oh. It seems to be, like, an attached campground of some sort. How did we not even realize we walked out of the park? I don't know, because we went through And the how store. are we able to enter back through the park without scanning again? I guess because they don't seem to care. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> that's, a, so, that's one way to get in here. We're going to Sky Scanner because this ride scares the crap out of me. Because we've seen those pendulum rides break in half, and now we're about to get on a ride with a tiny little metal chain that's holding you in. Several tiny Phenomenal. metal chains. So, well, they're only linked together once. So, oh, if a pendulum cool. can break in half, a little chain can let go of an oversized adult. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so, if this video doesn't continue, you know what happened to me. Um, Craig, you'll be taking over from the CNE. Yep. Oh, I think the ride broke. Oh, possibly. Da, da, da. We are now experiencing a temporary delay. Ooh, those look fine. Hey, Coke Blast, we can get your license. <laughs> Let's go. Actually, you're not wrong. I do not have my license yet. That'll come soon. Oh my god, those look fun. They're gonna bump. <laughs> It'll be another Steel Vengeance. Oh my god. This part of the park is kind of cute. Yeah, you do. And you steer. Oh my god. But this ride literally broke. I just almost fell down. Well, that definitely sounds like a you problem. Yeah. You know, there's this underrated thing. Oh my god. There's this underrated thing called looking where you walk. Oh. The, the line. Yeah, but how many people does it fit? I think it's 28. Yeah, yeah the story of the park's kind of nice. Peaceful. What did we just get off of? I don't know, what's the ride called again? Silver Bullet. Silver Bullet? Oh god. It was epic! That's my favorite ride of the park. I don't Even like though I that. couldn't breathe, I was graying out so hard. I didn't like that. Oh man, that shit's intense! Okay, best ride in the park, hands down for me. And most, definitely most forceful. Was it not? You yeah, said you were most, graying out the whole forceful. ride. I, I couldn't see the entire ride. Oh my god, I couldn't do that again. I actually, there was a moment when I lost feeling in my left arm and I thought I was having a heart attack. <laughs> I literally felt like an 80 year old. I just triggered a bunch of 80 year olds. Sorry. But yeah, that was painful. That was scary. Yeah, that hurt. That was scary. That's all I have to say. Okay. I'm so excited. That was fun. <laughs> I felt like my face was about to rip off and like flow down the rest oh, of my man. body. Why is it sad that I was looking forward to that ride the most all day and it did not disappoint? Bow, bow. I'm, I'm always like, I always have to get down low. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's that's pretty much it. Overall, the park's pretty good. The park's really nice. It's a nice family park. And no shade by that either. The one train ops have to be improved. Yeah. The one train ops are terrible. On everything. On like everything. literally, when your SLC is using parts from two different trains. Yeah. Like, I can't believe that this park gets away with using one train ops. Like the guest Especially wait on a day like this. It's not even that busy. But Superman is probably reaching a two-hour wait at this point. Yeah. Two-hour wait for a non not so busy day. Absolutely ridiculous. You're not going to grow your attendance like that at all. Like you shouldn't have sold off. Hopefully Six Flags fixes that. Um, but nonetheless, it's it's actually a lot more beautiful than even Great Adventure was. Again, yeah. it gives me CGA vibes. The food was good so far. We're gonna get another meal before we head out. But again, it's beautiful. It's a nice atmosphere. The rides are nice for a family, and it's okay to be a family park. Nothing really bad to say other than the one train ops. The ride ops are super friendly. This guy, Michael, operating Silver Bullet, is killing it. He's a single ride operator. Hopping by himself, and his dispatches are amazing. What? <laughs> um, yeah, as you can see, the ride's amazing. That is my job.
phenomenal. The ending's the scariest because it comes in so fast and the things are swaying. Get into my shot. <laughs> Oh. Woo. oh, anything else to say about this park? Oh, no, what does he have to say? Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's crazy. Worth the drive. It's like a three hour drive, worth it. Not a bad park at all, food's great. Employees are absolutely amazing. Um, the fast lane system, amazing. I mean, we were spoiled. Yeah. Beautiful I did not park. Expect. I right. expected six tickets. We each have to yeah. use one. Get a 40 free spin, and I'll be back right away. Yeah. That's all I have to say. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Have a great one. Bye. Bye.